Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail Karmali bringing to the news and events in Meghalaya. Here are the headlines for today. Six more months required to complete state-of-the-art diagnostic centre. Rupees 5 lakhs worth of prizes offered in dancing and singing competition. Not only prayers but also helping hands needed in times of calamities. And Hito demands audited expenditure of MLA schemes. And now the news in detail. The state-of-the-art diagnostic centre at Mao Diangdiang requires another six months to complete all the works and become functional media persons, were informed by Sri Christopher Rani here today. The centre. But yes, our commitment was that our pathology lab would be in place. So the thing is, I think you would understand that there are some technicalities where between the state government and the central government, things don't come in very easily also. But equipments are yet to be installed. But if you want us to start the pathology lab, the pathology lab is well functional right now. But we're not advertising it in a large scale because we understand the fact that if someone wants a lot of diagnosis to be done, only pathology will not do. Because uh, when it comes to radiology, ultrasonography, um, there are a few criteria that licenses that need to be accredited to. On July 11, Meghalaya Rising Star Season 1 was held at State Central Library Hall for the first time at Shillong to give a platform to all the talented dancers and singers of Meghalaya. At the same time, the competition is meant to showcase their talents. The dancing and singing competition was organised by Mr. Kamit Star Lingdor. Renowned judges for the occasion were Mr. Michael Im Yong, Richmond Barre and Ms. Aljiva Lingdor. Prizes worth rupees 5 lakhs awaits for the winners, inform the organizers. <laughs> The severely affected area of Moheskola, southwest Khasi Hills, under Ranikor block, received rise on July 11, 2022, from the All Khasi Hills Echik Federation, AKHAF. Several natural disasters, including landslides, river floods, and heavy rain, have severely damaged 15 settlements. The incident occurred on June 16 and 17, 2022. An effort was made by the Old Khasi Hills Echik Federation to try to assist the villagers and was successful in completing several tasks, including road maintenance in the Borsora and nearby areas. The Federation also urged the PHE department and the Ranikor subdivision to conduct an urgent checking and investigation into the areas destroyed by landslides and other natural disasters. Many villagers have no access to clean drinking water because the pipeline has been broken or completely disconnected and destroyed by landslides and heavy rains. They also requested the state and central governments to look into the matter urgently. <laughs> Leaders of the Hinyothrep Integrated Territorial Organization, HITO, have demanded from the state government through Right to Information, RTI, to furnish all the audited account for the MLA schemes from the year 2018-19 to up to 2021-22. According to the statement made by leaders of the organization, not all the MLAs have furnished the audited amount spent. 
Leaders of HITO expressed concern that unless the audited amount spent is declared and released to the public, the MLA scheme may turn out to be a capital for the candidates to be used for the election purposes in the coming year. Kajong penyat to the top with summit under process, Kajong met bar under process, Jong Rinik Tonru, Kadong yet to summit. Kaba eat Tamula, but Kabu is your core, but you wake, wake, and make like that. The beloved Tiniki lies on what you are pending Hato. Can you piss out on the Amelia scheme can take a piss out on your canvas election? Kataka de Kajinkili, Kalyan Gresham. The Mada Kandikum Kasu have a light of Nanga, keep it back. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.